as TOH secretary, isn't it uh, your role also to tell the president that mm -hmm. the company making the vaccine has a questionable background? Okay. Um, when this information was also uh, conveyed to me in the, se in, in the congressional hearings, that was still last year, mm -hmm. nagulat din po ako because I have never heard of such. No? Um, I'm not sure since when, but Sanofi Pasteur has been working with the Department of Health uh, maybe during the start of the immunization program. They're the ones who have been helping the DOH on polio eradication. Um, sila rin yung ando dun sa rabies immunization. They're also the ones um, with the flu vaccination. I think pneumonia vaccination for senior citizens. Marami pang iba, no? Um, uh, what I'm saying is that Sanofi Pasteur has been supplying vaccines not only to the Philippines but to the whole world since time immemorial. Iyan po ang pagkaalam ko nung pagdating ko sa DOH. Kaya nga meron tayong Louis Pasteur. Eh, and, uh, mm. We have institutes no, that's are, that are looking on the vaccinology aspects. And on research then, they're also very active. So all of these um, allegations of bribery and corruption, um, tinanong ko ito nung pumutok sa Kongreso. And um, of course, I was not yet in, I was not in office already at that time. Kaya hindi ko rin alam yung sagot nila. But then I also asked um, people in the medical societies, ano ba itong fierce pharma? Kasi yun ang source. Eh. So it's also a, a it's, it's not a journal that's uh, common to medical practitioners at the medical society. So, ang maganda nga niyan, sagutin talaga ng Sanofi. Because um, nung marinig rin namin yan, nagulat din kami. Uh, pero hindi ko pa naririnig ang, ang sagot nila. Even when you were in talks with them in 2015, it didn't No, they, this, this issue's only cropped up with uh, when Congressman Liachon mm. and Senator Gordon delivered, I think, their, their privileged speeches. Do you feel, ma'am, your team uh, naglak ng research on the company? Y yun nga ang sinasabi ko eh. Um, kung merong ganitong mga allegasyon, before I came in, there were already a lot of secretaries, no? um, DOH secretaries. And the Department of Health has been working with Sanofi Pasteur in terms of vaccination programs. Kasi may mga bakuna na sila lang ang meron. Mm -hmm. Pagkatagal-tagal na, I don't know if it's 50 years. No? It's, I, I think Sanofi Pasteur's um, history in working with the Department of Health is older than me. Parang mas matanda pa yung edad na mga taon na kasama sila nung DOH kesa sa edad ko. So you're banking on the credibility of Sanofi Pasteur as a pharmaceutical company? Um, I was banking on the fact that they have been in relationships with the Department of Health for so long a time, mm -hmm. longer than my age. Mm -hmm. Secretary Duque right now seems is bent on holding Sanofi accountable mm -hmm. and he feels that they are guilty of mental dishonesty in terms of disclosing the possible risks that, uh, to be brought about by Deng Baksha. Now, in your part, ma'am, do you feel that they withheld information considering that ngayon may issues pala yung kompanya, ngayon mo lang nalaman and now you're getting the flag for it? Um, unang unang kasi I, I wouldn't like to comment because I would like to wait for the SAGE, the updated SAGE report, and what the World Health Organization will say. Um, because I, uh, when this happened, nga, I decided to touch base with the government authorities in Brazil, just so I will know what's happening there. They said, dalawa naman tayo nag-implement. Um, to my surprise, they said, uh, yes, we knew about that. We had meetings with Anvisa. Anvisa is their FDA counterpart. And they said, Anvisa is a WHO accredited laboratory. And um, they further said, um, dito sa mga pag-uusap-usap namin, while this information was made available, it's not a contraindication, it's not a harm, it's a possible risk. But they were looking at their dengue burden. So they said they, they will base it on uh, the burden of dengue and the epidemiological data that they have. So tuloy-tuloy pa rin sila. They're now preparing for the 2018 vaccination program. So yung... Tinanong ko rin, is it true that this company is um, reputed to have a lot of bribery, corruption? <laughs> Wala naman silang naririnig. And then, in other countries as well, when I was Minister of Health in the whole, pagpalagay na natin sa buong mundo, in the whole world, I'm not sure if there is, kung si iilan, no, iilang countries, ang walang relationship sa Sanofi Pasteur because the, there are a lot of vaccines that only Sanofi Pasteur has. Mm -hmm. 